What's the number one area of the website to optimize an online store? We have the product pages. This is really where the magic happens. The product page, it is seen by all users. So if you want to buy a product, you should check out the product page. I mean, that's a pretty obvious one. And it, since it's a full page, we have multiple optimization options. And also, very importantly, it is used as the main landing page by most stores. So the ones of you that do media buying, I think you know that most of the traffic goes to the product page, right? On paid traffic. And that's why it is used as the main landing page. This is where we really have to persuade the users. We have to use motivation. We have to really give them the feeling that they're in the right place. And here we have an example. At the bottom, we displayed the, the benefits on the right side. We made a more clear visual hierarchy, the images, how they're being displayed. You can see it increased the average revenue per visit in almost 13%. So this worked pretty well for us. Hello, hello. I was about to start in German, then I, then I realized in the last moment that it's in English, so all good? Um, okay, perfect. Are you ready, guys? Um, quick introduction, I always also like this um, question game. Who of you guys is somehow in the e-commerce business, in the e-commerce area? Agency or anything to do with e-commerce? Okay, I would say half maybe. And who of you has his or her own online store or is working for one? Yeah, okay, perfect. Some guys, nice, like it. Then I hope, I think this is uh, going to be really valuable for you. There was a quick introduction about myself since Alisa already made a great introduction. I will just go through it really quick. Um, I'm really passionate about optimizing online stores. And we're doing this with a Convert Lab. We are focused on data analysis, on A-B testing, and on web development. Those are the three key areas. And you might be asking yourself, why do we optimize websites? How can you be fascinated about, about this topic? Um, to be honest, I, about this topic, I, I'm, I'm a fan of numbers. I'm a fan of the numbers games, and I put a quick calculation here. So if we have a shop that makes, let's say, one, one million euros in revenue each month, and we make a really successful A-B test that increases the average revenue per user by 10%, so 10% actually is not that much, but still, this brings you 100,000 euros extra each month without any additional cost. And scaling this to a whole year, we have 1.2 million euros extra revenue over the year, only with one test. So I think this shows pretty, pretty well how, how effective um, A-B testing and shop optimizing can be if it's done correctly. Um, but you might be thinking, well, Chris, an online shop has so many different pages. An online shop is that there's, there's so much. Where should I, where should I start? Where, where do I even begin? So where should I start to optimize? Don't worry, guys. That's why today we're going to talk about the top five areas to optimize an online store. And since we don't have that much time, as you just saw in the last one, and I think you're all hungry for your lunch, I will get right into it. I will start kick off with um, the fifth place. And in the fifth spot, the first one, we have the header section of an online store. I think you, you all know the header section. This is the, the top bar, kind of. And the header section is really great because it's visible on the whole site. So that's the big advantage. Pretty much everyone is going to see the changes here. And yeah, you can, you can especially promote discounts. You can promote certain events very well. I see a few laughs because some of you might know the guy that, that owns the store. <laughs> Um, of, the, of the image, but there, there are two downsides about the header section. Um, we have limited testing options here because we, we only have a certain amount of space and it's hard to measure the changes as we can't really narrow down the audience. We have to show it to all of the visitors of our websites, so we can't really narrow it down to only the really important users, the, really, the users that are close to buying our products. Here's an example from last week, from the Black Week. This is where it gets very powerful. Put a countdown, for example, and this countdown alone brought us an over 11% increase in conversion rate over the whole Black Week last year for this shop. All right, let's get to number four. In spot number four, we have the probably most prominent page of an online shop, the home page. Why is it only ranked in number four? First of all, the home page is really 
is really good for like it's really important for the first impressions. This is where you get like where you get all your organic traffic on in the first place. Mm, you have multiple optimizations options here because it's a full website, a full site. However, not it is just not seen by all buying users. We've experienced experienced this in so many tests in the past that just a small amount of the really buying users in the sessions they buy, they really go to the home page. Still, it is important and it's kind of to make the Patrick Wind the Aushängeschild of your online store. So it's kind of what represents you when, when, people, when people especially organically go to your store. All right, we've already come to the podium and um, you see there are many changes here in this example. This was an, an almost 28% increase in average revenue per visit, this test. Mm, if you want to talk about the details, why we, why we arranged certain elements, why we, why we did certain exact changes of single elements, just reach out to me later as the time is, as the time is a bit limited today. All right, um, we get to the podium. In number three, we have the collection pages. Collection pages, in my opinion, a pretty underestimated part, actually, of online stores because collection pages are super important, especially for stores that have multiple different products, to help them with deciding what product is the right one for them. So it is crucial to help them overcoming the paradox of choice between different products. However, it has the same problem as the header section. We have only limited testing options because obviously in a header, in a collection page, we need to feature products, we need to feature them with image, with, with the titles. So there's not that much we can do. And also, same problem as on the home page, it's not going to be seen by all users. The next slide shows um, this test. This is actually a test that I'm really proud of because we've just um, recently finished this test, I think in January. And it was the most successful uh, test we've done in quite a while, and it was brought an over 32% increase for all collection pages, so that was, that was pretty cool. And yeah, let's, if you, if you want to know about the deal, it's the same as last one, let's talk about it later in detail if you want. Okay, we already, we've already come to the second place, to the second um, most important area to optimize an online store. And here we got um, two areas of the online store sharing this place of the podium. We have the card drawer and we have the checkout pages. So why did I put them together? First of all, the ones of you that work with Shopify know that checkout is a bit of a thing at the moment with optimizing, with testing. So um, we have to put it a bit in braces. And also the changes that we can make in both, um, both um, parts of the page are pretty similar because what are card and checkout important for? Card and checkout are important, first of all, to give users security, to really make them, make them feel like, yeah, this is the right decision. Here's the place, here's where I can really finish my, my uh, buying process. Here's where I can really buy a product. And it is ideal for, pl for placing upsells. So here's where we can really try to increase the average order value. The, the downside is that it has a bit limited testing options because as you can see here in the card drawer, we're kind of limited in what we can do just um, as a matter of space. But the big, big advantage as well, this is why it's placed in second place over the home and over the collection pages is every buying user will definitely come across one of these steps. You cannot buy a product without going to the card or to the checkout. So this is why it ranked in second place. And here's an example. Um, the main advantage in this example was that we decided to go for only one call to action button instead of the four you can see at the, at the left part, which is not that ideal. And yeah, this, is, this worked pretty well for us, or for that job. All right, we've come to the, to the final, final part, final area of the website, the number one spot. I, I hope you're all with me. You're still with me and not, not in lunch. Someone's already eating. That's a good, good idea. Then you can kind of combine it. So I want to have a few guesses. Just, uh, just shout it in. What do you think? What's the number one area of the website to optimize an online store? I, I heard a few products. Yeah, that's, that's very correct. In number one spot, we have the product page, or the product pages, and we kind of have to think, the product page, this is really where the magic happens. The product page, it is seen by all users, so if you want to buy a product, you should check out the product page. I mean, that's a pretty obvious one. 
And we have, it, since it's a full page, we have multiple optimization options. Mm, and also, very importantly, it is used as the main landing page by most stores. So the ones of you that do media buying, I, I see a few, a few faces that, do, that, yeah, that are into media buying. I think you know that most of the traffic goes to the product page, right? On, on paid traffic. And that's why, as it is, oh, time is limited, yeah, I know. Um, as it is used as the main landing page, this is, this is where we really have to persuade the users. We have to use motivation. We have to really give them the feeling that they're in the right place here. And here we have an example. We increased uh, at the bottom. We displayed the, uh, the benefits on the right side. We made a more clear visual hierarchy. We improved the image, how they're being, the images, how they're being displayed. Mm, and as you can see, it increased the average revenue per visit in over almost 13%. Um, so this was also pretty, worked pretty well for us. Yes, that was, uh, we have a few, before I, I'm almost done, before I'm done, we have a few honorable mentions. Um, we have the thank you page, the navigation, the footer. These are parts of the website that we also use for A-B testing. And I have a quick summary. I'll just go through it really quick. Um, header page, ideal for like discounts, for um, countdowns, that sort of stuff, for events. Home page, kind of like your, your window of the store. Collection pages, we, have, um, we help users overcoming the paradox of choice. Cart and checkout, important to really help users to, to know it's the right thing to do to finish their buying decision here. And then last but not least, the product page. This is really where the magic happens. And I have one more thing. One more thing, guys. Um, I, I saw this quote on Instagram like two weeks ago, and I thought it's like perfect for the speech. Because what are we doing? We're doing A-B testing. So, and I think it's very important to mention, you could, you could think, yeah, let's just, let's just copy the, let's just take, take the examples that Chris showed us and let's just take those changes and implement them as well. But unfortunately, we've, we've realized in so many shops that often the, the things that you, that you think that they're sure that they're safe havens to just improve, that you just implement those changes, they're not, not working. This is why, because every target group is just different and there's certain small key elements that you have to change in order to really get it right for your audience. And that's why I have the quote here, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. And now really the, the final thing, that's why we brought a special stitches off for all of you guys that are in, into e-commerce. We give you um, three times, so for free, for three of you, we're giving one A-B test for free. So really fully for free, just um, if you're interested, just scan the QR code and yeah, book a call with me. Let's, let's have a quick chat on it, how we can help you and let's see how we can help you with experimentation. Thank you so, so much.